Hi, this is Dr. Victoria Skrobo, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center, Wareham, Massachusetts. Um, the other day I did two readings, one on Ivanka Trump and one on um, Donnie Jr. there. And it was interesting because her cards were terrible and his cards weren't quite, weren't terrible, hardly at all. And I sort of thought that it might be that he has a tendency, like his father, to live in his own little world. But um, he is a Capricorn, so I'm not sure that that's the case. And uh, one of my readers pointed out that perhaps uh, he's going to throw his sister under the bus. She might know that uh, or not. Um, he, uh, his sister is the favorite child. And there was actually a dynamic uh, like that in uh, Donald Trump's childhood um, where his father was very disappointed with his oldest son and uh, Donald Trump became, you know, kind of his father's pride and joy. And Donald Trump pretty much did everything his father wanted him to do and be everything and be the way his father wanted him to be. Uh, whether or not it was... Uh, in his nature or not. So, uh, and of the things that I've heard about uh, Donald Trump, uh, the way he treated Don Jr. Um, was he wasn't very, very nice to him. And we know that, you know, Ivanka is his favorite child. And so it's very possible that there can be some um, difficulty between those two. So, now with the stress of um, the investigations coming down hard, um, especially um, the, um, the look into the Trump family business with the taxes and all that stuff, uh, let's see if uh, that's the case. Is Donnie going to throw his sister under the bus to lighten his sentence? I don't really want to, I didn't really want to ask this question. Oops, something fell to the ground. One second. Let me see what it was. Father of Wind. That's Mueller. I didn't really want to ask this question because it's kind of awful. I almost feel like a voyeur. I mean, nobody, no matter who it is, I mean, I, at least for me, I don't like to see people do this to the people that, in their family, but it happens often enough, so... I don't like to see people do terrible things to each other, period, whether they're related or not. Uh, okay. Too much of that, I think. All right, let's see. All right, I'm finished shuffling. I'm going to use the Tower of the Spirit because I happen to have it close by. That was the thinking on that. All right, let's see. the. Uh, now, this question is, is Donnie... I'm going to throw his sister Ivanka under the bus. Convergence. Okay, this is about things coming together. Things coming together. Crossing card. Um, the Ace of Form. This is about a new, uh, new financial prospect. Or this is the crossing card. So this is about maybe starting over. The challenge of starting over. Financially, what's at the root of this? Betrayal. Oops. Okay, the Three of Swords. Um, it's called Recognition in this in this deck. And in this deck, it talks about um, that betrayal is a way of um, breaking you free from a relationship that uh, is not healthy for you uh, anyway. But, of course, it brings a lot of pain. So that betrayal at the bottom there doesn't look too good. This is the past, seeing the big picture. So he sees what's ahead of him, perhaps. In the sky. The government, the Hierophant. So this could be Mueller, or this just could be uh, the governmental stuff. I think Ivanka is in a little bit more trouble anyway because she does work uh, in the White House. D Donald Trump Jr. does not work in the White House. So on a certain level, she's responsible for that and she's responsible 
for the Trump Foundation things. What's ahead? We have the uh, the Empress. So this could be uh, Ivana, the mother, the mother coming in to the for the rescue here. All right. Let's see how other people see this as a power play. The magician. The domestic situation. Now this would be. Well, I guess this is domestic situation for both of them. Okay, we have uh, the stream of love, the three of water. This is the celebration card. So if it's a celebration card for both of them, then he's not going to betray her. But if it's a celebration card for him, it's very possible that he will. Hopes and fears. Mueller. This is the um, king of, of, of winds or the king of swords. So that's Mueller. We'll guess it's a fear. <laughs> and the outcome. The nine, um, the seven of um, cups. This is being able to see above the um, sort of the, the, the energy of the, the seven of cups is one of illusion and delusion. But we have the eye. The all-seeing eye, seeing over that, seeing over the emotional stuff. So it's interesting that this is the outcome and this was the past. Okay. All right. And uh, I'm going to see if I can pull a major arcana. Five of, five of fire. It's a five of uh, wands, which is sort of um, chaos. We have the emperor. So the emperor is power. It's it's masculine power, so it's very possible. Let's see what's under the um. And we have the wheel of fortune. So there will be a change in fortune. <sighs> wow. If he did do this, this would really be crummy. It would really be crummy. Of course, if she did it to him, it would be crummy, too. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But either way, um, this could really be the thing that um, if anything will get in with Trump, it would be this. This would get in emotionally, I think. Because I think in his own way, he does love his children as best that as a, as a narcissist can love their children as a reflection of them. And if Don Jr. does this, he's definitely a reflection of his father. All right, well, that's... I don't know if I'll even put this up. I don't like to put this energy out there. All right, well, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Have a great night. Bye.